Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy Huxley. I've been in the industry for a little over 13 years. I've worked full-time and contract in multiple cities and countries around the world. Uh, I've been working at Naughty Dog for over seven years on the Uncharted and now Last of Us franchise. Vegetation and Plants for Games is a six-week format. During week one, we'll gather reference and create a collage using photos, films, animation, and whatever else inspires you. We'll pinpoint key elements from your collage to create a strong style guide. We will discuss and demo the creation of plants in ZBrush. We will use substance to get the textures we need from our ZBrush assets. And we'll begin our plant library by creating our first plant models in Maya using our textures. During week two, we will discuss the creation of rocks and trees as the base building blocks for our scenes. We will sculpt a large rock in ZBrush that can be used vertically and horizontally. We will retopologize the rock in Maya and use XNormal to bake out our textures. We'll import our assets into UDK and set up our scene file and create materials and meshes. We will begin composing our scene while referring to our style guide. And we will create our large trees in Maya and add them to our scene in UDK. During week three, we will go over the creation of a canopy model, texture, and layout from ZBrush. We'll be creating a tiling bark texture. We will create canopy cards in Maya using our textures and model a branch, then assemble the tree. And then we will update the UDK scene with our new assets and create foliage materials for the plants and canopies. During week four, we will get back into sculpting large and small ferns along with a grouping of weeds and rendering out all the textures. We will get into substance where we will create base rock materials, uh, grass or moss materials, and we will be creating a medium sized rock material and rendering out the texture. During week five, we will be updating our large rock materials in UDK we will create a landscape material that we will blend with vertex colors, update and finalize our bark texture and substance, create a tiling mud texture and substance using our medium rock as a starting point, finish modeling our foliage in Maya and export to UDK, create crude block-ins for our shrines or some other story details so we can start composing our scenes, and finally update the scene with all the new content, add a landscape as a midground, and use the foliage tools to place plants in the scene and start working on our lighting. Week 6, we will be exporting height maps from previous ZBrush tools, which we will use in Substance. With those, we will create our loam material and export the textures. We'll import the loam texture into UDK and set up the shader and continue populating our scene. We'll be iterating on the scene and creating light maps for trees in Maya and exporting the updated model. We will import the trees back into UDK and continue to tweak lighting and materials. We will go over the creation and usage of a lookup table or what and plug that into UDK and adjust the lighting and post-processing effects and keep populating the scene. For extra credit, uh, if your scene is in a place you're happy with, I will go over my process for creating shrines and statues in ZBrush, creating the low poly, UVing, and baking the textures and importing to UDK. And finally, we will finish our scene and render out screenshots. Uh, even though this is a semi-realistic scene, physically based lighting and materials, Hopefully this content will carry through to almost any production within the games industry. One of my favorite parts of the class is collaborating with the students. Here are a few examples of their final pieces. Following the class, some students have gone on to get scholarships, do interviews about their workflow, get jobs in the industry, or even further their careers. One of the most valuable things students will get out of the class is collaborating and building a positive network with their peers. So hopefully you'll join me in this adventure and sign up for Vegetation and Plants for Games uh, with Jeremy Huxley, and I hope we can work together in the future.